You'd be hard pressed to find an offensive lineman pulverize his opponent any better than this. But you'd also be hard pressed to find an offensive lineman who moves as well as Patrick Miller. What I think separates Patrick from everybody else is, is the fact that he's 275, 280 pounds right now, 6'7", but he, he's, he moves like a skill player. He has a world of potential to put on size, weight, and, and keep his speed and agility. Miller came to Dwyer before his junior season. Since then, in less than two years, he's put on 50 pounds and cemented himself as one of the top offensive line recruits in the country, verbally committing to play college football for the Tigers of LSU. I'm definitely 100% you know, locked in with LSU, and I'm, I'm really excited and you know, already bought all, my, all the shirts and hats and all that stuff, so can't go back on them now. Patrick spends all his time on the football field trying to stop the opposition from hunting his quarterback and the running backs and even a wide receiver now and again. But when the football game's over, he turns his attention to the great outdoors where he becomes the hunter. Fishing, hunting, you know, I go all over because my, my family lives all over. I have brothers that live in the Caribbean, so I go there a lot. Shot and everything from, you know, bottom fish, like snapper and stuff like that to like blue water, you know, tuna or whatever dolphin, something like that. My brother, he lives up in Virginia, you know, so he's got a little cabin up there. We go out there and we'll, you know, shoot whatever's in his backyard or we'll go out and, you know, try to kill a buck or something like that. And don't think for a minute that the allure of the bayou's potential for some new hunting and fishing grounds didn't affect Patrick's decision to go to LSU. It's, you know, Baton Rouge is right there, you know, you got the bayous all on there and you got great hunting, great fishing, you know, you got the golf, you can go out there, so. Definitely uh, going to be doing some you know, outdoor activities. You know, just have to maybe change up a little bit of what I do. Which I'm sure will be just fine with the coaches in Baton Rouge as long as he keeps killing opposing linemen. Figuratively, of course. In Palm Beach County, Jason Alpert for CSS.